So a cool new feature, as you learned in 3.7, is the ability to view key attributes within the console of CCC without having to go into CMU list, CK demo, Luna CM, and all these other command line utilities. All right, so very convenient little option. All you have to do is select the service in question. As you see, I'm an app owner. App owners, admins can do this. Whoever has access to the service. There will be a keys section, and it's going to ask you if you want to actually view the keys. And by keys, I mean key attributes. You're not viewing the key material in any way here, right? So there's no security compromise. It's going to ask for the crypto officer password. If this was a PED uh, authenticated box, then in this case, you would have to set up remote PED if the role is not activated at all and provide the black key and so on. So I'm going to authenticate, and it's going to set up an NTLS tunnel temporarily between CCC uh, via the client to the backend, backend HSM. So it could take a little bit, depending on how many keys you have. And you'll be able to see things like the label, the key handle, fingerprint algorithm, bit size. But that's generally it right now. The, the plan in the future is to be able to generate, let's say, a public-private key pair or a certificate request, things like that, all within CCC using, of course, the crypto officer credentials. But for now, as you can see, what do we have? We have a label, so in this case, the certificate authority, private key, public key, you can see the handle that corresponds with it, the fingerprint for that uh, key, the algorithm RSA or DSA, I got some symmetric keys here I generated in the bit size. You won't be able to see, for now, P11 attributes, like if it's sensitive or extractable, it's not on that layer of depth yet, but we're getting there. Um, and it's a nice snapshot to see what's actually stored on this partition when sometimes the partition label or name isn't really descriptive enough, or maybe you imported them from an older configuration. You want to know a stock of your your crypto inventory, not just on the HSMs or the partitions, but the content itself. Once you are done viewing it, it's always recommended to log off of the session. In this case, it will close the NTLS connection to the service that was set up. If you don't do anything, it will also time out, I believe, after 180 minutes, three hours. So there's security mechanisms in there for you just in case uh, you forget. And that's about it.